Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 163 of the Aspirations Challenge. In the last episode, we actually um, had Kayla age into a child, so we had a birthday party for her. Um, technically, it's still the same day, so her birthday was kind of today. I think she has left, but I don't know. Um, yeah, she has left already. So I did give her a makeover, which I would like to show off, but if I go into MC Command Center, it will take me to her household. So I don't think I'm actually gonna do that. Uh, it looks like um, Maria is still here though. So I'm kind of in this position where I don't know if I wanna move Kayla and Maria in or not. I'm tempted to have them move in because I do want Kato to raise his own daughter, but uh, and he's already missed out so on so much of it because she's obviously a child now. So she's been living with her mom up until now. And I feel like it would be better for the story to have her live here. We do have Blair living here because La'A dropped her off. Literally at the front door. She wanted nothing to do with raising a child. So we do have her around. But I don't know. I'm just torn about... Because we can't have... Kayla move in and not Maria. I just don't think that would be a very good idea or very realistic. I think Maria is very present in her life and I don't see her just giving Kayla to Kato. So it is a really awkward position and I don't know what to do about that. Um, Blair ages up in a couple of days, three days. So she still has a little bit of time left. Um, so what do we want to do here? Finally, the weather is getting nicer. And as you can see, Jada is just thrilled with that. She loves to spend time outside, so she's excited to finally be um, enjoying the semi-nice weather. It's raining, but at least it's not, like, cold and snowy. We could also have her maybe go fishing. I don't know if she would like that, but we could try it. As for Kato, what do we need to do with Kato? Um, for his aspiration, here's where we're at with that. Um, we have to attend one more social event at a unique location. So if somebody asks us to do something, we'll probably go and do that. And then we're on to the final part of his aspiration, which will probably take a while. I think I'm going to actually take the dog for a short walk because I do feel bad. She looks pretty sad. Um, and then Blair is having a nap. Maybe I'll get her to wake up and play dolls for a while. I think so far Blair has been a pretty easy toddler to care for. Um, I, I don't think she's been too bad at all. And then I also think like if we have Kayla and uh, Maria move in, I don't know where they're going to live. I was thinking about um, changing this um, sort of like, I mean it's a gym technically, but it's also detached from the house almost completely. So I feel like it would be beneficial to maybe turn this into like Maria and Kayla's um, like a suite almost. I don't know if that's a great idea, but I think that is something I'm considering doing just because we don't have a lot of space here. Um, Kato originally set up this room right here for Kayla and Maria, and then Maria said she didn't want to live here. So yeah, I don't know where exactly we're at with that. Can Jada not play dolls with her? I don't think she can. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this and have Jada talk about her day, uh, hug lovingly, and teach basic needs. Definitely want to make sure Jada is very, um, a very strong presence in Blair's life because I think she'd be a really good grandma. And this is also kind of fun because usually by this stage, I don't have much to do with the previous generation. They are usually honestly not even alive by this point. So it's kind of fun to play with elders. I never play with elders. Usually I'm out of a household by the time the Sim gets old. Uh, what's Kato doing? Oh yeah, he's going for a walk. Let's come back home now. That way Gemma will be happy that we, we at least went for a walk. Also, we are going to break 100,000 simoleons in this episode, so Kayla is going to be really set when she moves out. I mean, we're a really long ways away from that, but when she does leave, she's going to have a lot of money. Okay, I'm going to have Blair. Yes, Blair can go to bed. Jada, um, maybe we will have her do some laundry. 
Yeah. The maid has really been slacking lately. <laughs> we have a terrible, terrible maid. Um, she usually just dumps garbage on the floor, uh, ignores vacuuming, ignores uh, pretty much everything, actually. I don't know why Kato wanted to sit in this little panda chair while he ate, but... Okay, then. Maybe I'll have him... Oh, something's broken. Can repair the shower? And of course, she's feeling bored. I have been thinking maybe it would be fun to rent a vacation home in Mount Komorebi and have them all go visit the vacation home. I think that might be kind of fun. But I'm not sure if it's something we could do with... Uh, we need a new track. Yeah, I know. Okay, so they're hounding him for a new track. Maybe I'll have him do that now. Produce... Oh, release track. So we already have one. We just haven't released it. So let's do that. Um, yeah, so I, what I was saying... I kind of feel like I would like Maria and Kayla, or at least just Kayla, to come to the vacation home. I just don't know if you can go on vacation with Sims that don't live with you. But I don't know. I think that'd be really fun to go... What are you doing? You should be in bed. What is she doing? No, I don't want that. I, whatever you're doing, I don't want it. Why didn't she stay in bed? Sometimes toddlers are just such a little nightmare um yeah so i don't i think it'd be more fun if we could just get jada kato um blair and kayla to go to the vacation lot i think that'd be kind of fun and then um jada could kind of teach the girls about playing in the snow and snowboarding i well obviously um blair's not old enough for snowboarding but kayla definitely is and i think that'd be a really fun vacation idea I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. I think it would be kind of fun to do that, but only if Kayla can come. Otherwise, um, we just got a toddler who can't really do anything. Okay, these things are really annoying. I think it's just about time to disable bust the dust. Um, let me see here about what is this? Uncomfortable, unbelievably filthy from being in a filthy area. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to disable Bust the Dust. It's just not worth it. Um, oh, wait, is it already disabled? No, oh, no, there we go. Now it is. Does our house look normal? Yeah. Yeah, Bust the Dust can suck it. <laughs> Quite literally. Um, no thank you on that pack. It's really, really crap. All right, let's look into going on our vacation. Take a vacation. Again, don't think we can bring Kayla. Oh, can we? Now that would be interesting. See, it'd be better if we could bring Kayla and have the control over her, but I don't know if that's an option. So let's go Kayla, Blair, and Jada. Oh, was that too many people? Oh, okay, yeah, that's who we wanted. I wasn't expecting to be able to do this, but it's a good idea. I think Maria is finally seeing the changes in Kato and would probably trust both Jada and Kato to take her on a vacation. So we're going to go to Mount Como. And where do we want to stay? I don't think there's a lot of options. This is not... Oh, none of the lots are available. Oh, this one is. Is there... There's literally one option? Okay. Well, I guess that's... It's fairly limited. We're going to go to this one here. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom. I don't think I've been here before. Let's go two days. Um, I might not, I, I mean, I'll probably recognize a lot once we get to it, but I don't think I've actually lived here or stayed here before. So this might be a little bit new, but um, I think it's going to be fun to try to introduce the girls to their heritage, I guess, because they would be a quarter Japanese. Kato was half Japanese. Yeah, so they'd be a quarter Japanese. So definitely a little bit of their heritage. Uh, let me let me look at this house. I don't think I've been here. No, I haven't. Okay, so I'm gonna have to enable free build because uh, we need a toddler bed for Blair. Um, I feel like this would probably have been more fun if Blair was older and if Kayla actually lived here with us but this will be fine i think for now uh i'm going to i'm gonna cheat their needs because it's 
It's day one of a vacation. I don't want to have to worry about their needs, except I don't know how to do that. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a mailbox, but there is not a mailbox. We're going to make them all happy. I think this... Oh, Gemma came with us. I didn't even think about that. I guess we need dog food now. I did not consider having Gemma come. Um, I didn't actually even mean to invite her, but that's fine. Let's put the food... This is actually a good house. I wonder who built this one because I know obviously um, all of the, not all of the, but four of the game changers built these lots. So kind of curious about who built what. Okay. So what do we want to do? It's obviously not going to be a very nice day, but it might be kind of fun to, you know what? I might just add Kayla to the family. Yeah. I'm going to add Kayla to the family and then, um, and then once we go back, she can go back and live with her mom. But I think just for the sake of the vacation, this will be a lot easier. Um, so Kayla, we can take this time to find out about this trait that she got. Uh, insider. These Sims love being in clubs and tend to be happiest when surrounded by their friends. Okay, I really think that's interesting because um, I don't think we have played with that trait very much. Let me just look at one thing here. Um, so there's leader of the pack. Have we done this? Start or join a club, buy a club perk. Aren't at the house. Have we done this one? Oh, it's, it's kind of at this point now because I think we're about 15 generations in. I could be off on that, but it's kind of at this point now where I don't exactly remember which packs or which uh, aspirations we've done and which ones we haven't done so I think the best thing to do is um, check my notes and see where we're at with that because I don't know I, I know I've done this aspiration before I just don't know if it was for the challenge so I'm gonna check here and see where we're at uh, leader of the pack yes we did do this aspiration um, bonus points for whoever can remember <laughs> which sim we did this with you know what? I'm not going to tell you guys, I think. I, I really want to know because you guys are insanely good at reminding me of things that happened in this series far before, I mean, like such a long time ago that I can't remember anything. And you guys are so good at remembering these little details and exact sims, like names, and you guys do it really well. So I'm curious if you know this question, which of our um, sims for the aspirations challenge completed the leader of the pack aspiration that's a little, little trivia question for you guys because i am so bad at this that i don't even remember doing this aspiration but we did do it so yeah let me know if you can remember who it was okay um what are we gonna do today it's 8 a.m uh we can i think we're kind of at we could go for a walk maybe it's really not a nice day. <laughs> it's really not. Um, I was hoping that it was going to be not so crappy out, but this isn't great. Are these little trails we can go on? There's these waterfalls, which I believe that I could be wrong, but maybe not. I do believe this is where Kenji and Jada got engaged, like right here at the waterfall. Am I wrong about that? See, I can't even remember what happened last generation. Never mind this generation oh she's making a mess please no please no that's not fun for anyone can I have these kids oh I can have them interact now let's get them to hug um tell her a story because I definitely want Kayla and Blair to have some kind of relationship it would be so cute if they would hug that's what I'm waiting for there we go. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, they're sisters. It, it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be that amazing, but it kind of is. I want Kayla to be like nice to her. So, I'm going to have her um make funny faces, tell her a funny story. Get to know her. I mean, that's kind of what the whole point of this vacation was, is to get them to, ha like, get to know each other better. Mm 
There's really not that many interactions you can have with a toddler, but we're doing our best. Also, we got paid today and broke 100,000 simoleons, so that is really exciting. Uh, oh, there's a pool here. I didn't even see that. I feel like Kayla would be all over that. Uh, maybe not. Actually, it's pretty small. I was going to have them all swim, but that way you'd have to be pretty packed in there to enjoy that. Um, so what can we do? I believe you can swim in this river. We could. It's really not that nice of a day, though. Is that something we want to do? Yeah, I don't know. Um, you can swim here. It's just that it's spring, so it's not that nice. Mount Como very rarely has nice, nice weather, so we may not see a lot of it. Ooh, a friend. She could make a friend. This is Keiko. Go meet this girl. She's an insider, so she definitely wants to make friends. So we can have Kayla make friends with this girl. Uh, talk about recent meal. Talk about recent birthday. Talk about school. She's going to be a little chatterbox. I really can see Kayla just being very chatty. Talk about the weather. She's going to talk about everything that's been on her mind. Talk about temperature. I hope your birthday was great. Oh, she seems really cute. Uh, talk about toys. Tell a goofy story. Um, pop culture reference. Yeah, I think she's mostly just going to talk this kid's ear off. No, I don't want to come watch a movie. Her mom's pretty clingy. Tease about crush. I don't know if they're close enough for that, but we'll definitely try it and see what happens. Make silly face. Um, joke about teachers. Oh, why is she uncomfortable? Please don't be sick. Oh, she's dehydrated. I need to get rid of that. I just love that she just talks and talks. Uh, okay, so, oh, these two are... Playing with a soccer ball. I mean, the whole point of coming here was to be social, and de everyone's definitely doing that. Oh, I should get a potty as well for Blair. I didn't even consider that. Um, just get one and put it here. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll probably never be back. <laughs> go potty. Maybe they could go for a picnic over by that waterfall as well. That might be good. Oh, can she not, can she not come over here? Oh no, we're good, we're good. How's Kayla doing? She's thirsty. Okay, I'm gonna have her come back to the house and grab a drink because apparently she needs water. I need to get rid of that part of the mod because it's really frustrating. It's cute that these two are having a good time. Who is Fletcher? I don't want a job, thank you. Okay, is Kayla getting water? Oh, she's having a bath? No, no, no. Grab some water. Blair, uh, you know, maybe we'll go over to those waterfalls. Like I said, it's not that nice, but I kind of want them to do something. I don't know. There's, like, it is getting better, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's go over here and have, like, a little, a picnic, basically. Teleport. I just teleport all my sims everywhere. I'm, I'm really bad for that. Uh, I, I think, like, the walking just takes way too long. Okay, let's have Jada, um, maybe play with, play with Blair for a little bit. And then we'll have Kato make some food on the grill. Let's grill, um... Chicken, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I would like them to go kind of to a festival or somewhere like that where they can enjoy like the local cuisine. I think that'd be interesting. Uh, can she talk to her dad while he's grilling? I don't know how that works. She, like I said, she's a little chatterbox. I think if she has the opportunity to talk to someone, she is definitely going to take it. This kid will talk your ear off. And let's, can we call to this meal? Oh, no, we can't. No, Jada, don't leave. I was hoping they would all grab a serving and, like, sit together. Reach social level eight already. So, yeah, um, Kayla is a little social butterfly, that's for sure. Yep, 
Yeah, see, I was hoping they would all like sit down together. Uh, what we could do is take a picture in front of this waterfall. I, I'm tempted to do that. Yeah, let's have them all come over here. The things I do for thumbnails, like it just, it takes such a long time, especially for um, Blair, who's obviously too small to <laughs> walk all the way over there. All right, I'm going to get them all to turn around, basically. See if I can get a picture of them all. Okay, worst picture ever. <laughs> Undoubtedly the worst picture ever. Kayla, okay, come over on this side. Oh, okay. You know what? It might be, like, the, as good as it's going to get. Yeah, I kind of think that is as good as it's going to get. Um, I really need to get like a pose pack or something because this is like, is kind of terrible. But I, I do love how happy Jada looks. She's definitely thrilled to be here. Um, I thought there was a washroom over here, but now I'm not seeing it. Let's get her to learn about mountain excursions. I don't know. While we're here, we might as well do something like that. Actually, Jada... Jada would love nothing more than to swim in this water. <laughs> it's probably really cold, but she's used to it, and I think she's so happy to be back. She really is. Uh, inspired, feeling happy, um, like old times. Oh, that is actually so cute. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I just love that she feels that way from being here. She is feeling depressed now, though. I think that being here probably does remind her of Kenji a little bit, so that part of it is going to be a little sad. Um, I'm gonna have Kayla come and go to the washroom. And I think Blair should probably come back as well. Maria is calling her a lot. I think she's having a hard time with the fact that she was not invited to come on this vacation. Um, maybe we'll teleport Blair. Does she have any toys in her inventory? No. I was kind of hoping she did so that she would have something to do, but I think I'm just going to send her to bed. She's kind of tired anyway. And then what else can we do? There's not much to do in this neighborhood. I feel like we'll probably have to travel um, tomorrow so we can maybe go snowboarding for a bit. I think that that's definitely something that Jada would like to do. Is there a TV? Oh, there's no TV. What are we supposed to do? Um, clean. No. Oh, we could also do the hot pot. That is another fun thing to do. Um, there's a fireplace. Let's go light that, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Maybe, um, I don't know, backflow? I have no idea. <laughs> I really just truly don't know what to do. I'm gonna have, uh, Jada come back and use the washroom and take a bubble bath, maybe? Burn money, a thousand dollars. Oh, because we're rich, we can burn money. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that out of just, no, I have principles. <laughs> I want all this money. What else can we do? Could he read maybe? I know that's like not really his thing, but Claire, Claire wants to know if we want to go on a date and I really don't, but thanks for asking. Kayla's back floating. I think this vacation is going well. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing, but it, it definitely works. Yeah, she's liking this. Back float again. Um, what are you doing? I honestly don't know what to do in this house. It's a little bit boring, but I think that's kind of the, the fun of it. Uh, Jada hates reading more than anything in this world, so I'm not going to have her read. It's just a really good way to put her in a bad mood. She's feeling pumped. I don't... What? This woman has too much energy. Um, could she play with her soccer ball, which is interesting, but, um, drink energy juice, rock climbing, chalk hands. Oh my God, this woman. I don't know. I really don't know. She can just do whatever she wants. It would be cool if her and Kato could do the mountain exc excursion together, but you have to get your skill level to a certain point, And I really don't want to have to work on that with him. I think it's just too much work. So I'm going to send them all to bed. 
And I think I'm going to leave this episode here and we will continue the vacation in the next episode. Um, don't forget to let me know if you know which Sim completed the Leader of the Pack aspiration. It's a tough one because this Sim I barely even remember. So uh, yeah, let me know if you know the answer to that fun little trivia question and I will give you guys the answer in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.